Well, the good news is, is here for your opening weekend at Arlington, we're in really good shape. Let's throw that seven day forecast on there. Today's the coldest day of the bunch, at least for the next few days. But the key thing is it's dry for opening day here at Arlington. And then tomorrow looks great. Mostly sunny skies in the 60s and then warming up to the 70s by Sunday. A little cooler into early next week. We'll get to more of that in just a little bit. But I'm here with Tony. Big opening weekend. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. You know, it's nothing like seeing life come to the facility with the opening of racing. And it starts today. Gates open at 2. Free admission if you go online, right? Yep, free admission, yeah. Go online, get your tickets, come on in and make it a daily double. Come back tomorrow for the Derby. And, oh yeah, tomorrow. I mean, the festivities are always a fun time. And I mean, if you're going to be watching the Derby, if you can't be down in Kentucky, this is the place to be. Well, this is the home away from home for the Derby. And everybody's going to be coming out with their fedoras, their best dresses, their big hats. And very excited to see one of the world's biggest events. I got to say, so so people have probably been to Arlington many times and they're, they're regulars. They can't wait for opening weekend. Make the pitch for some someone out there that maybe has never had the chance to come on out here to come on up and, and check it out. Oh, it's it's a spectacle to see. It's going to be something that uh, you don't see anywhere else except uh, in Louisville. You're not going to see it in downtown Chicago. You're not going to see it in anyone's home. This is the place to be to feel the excitement and the energy as uh, horses run down the stretch. Where's your big hat, Tony? I got a big head, so they <laughs> haven't made that hat that quite size yet, but we're working on it, customizing You have it. to find a customized a haberdasher to make it work. That's right, absolutely. Well, Tony, thanks for showing us this place. We're going to get a mint jewel up later on and have a lot of fun at Arlington. The horses are getting ready. Yes, they've been trotting on by. Here comes another one and here comes one down the stretch to the finish line. You'll see it in your shot in just a moment. There it is. They're getting warmed up. So are these temperatures. It's a big opening weekend. Of course, got the Derby tomorrow down in Kentucky, but the party is up here at Arlington and I'm here with Howard. We're staring into the sun, but that's got to be a welcome thing for you this weekend. Well, we haven't seen it for a while. I tell you, <laughs> we had our blizzard and then we had pouring rain here for a while. Now it's supposed to be decent today and tomorrow's supposed to be a beautiful day, so uh, we deserve it, don't we, yeah, in Chicago? We... <laughs> I mean, it's been a mess. We all know that. Yes, exactly. All right, well, you're no stranger to TV land, of course. You're a, you've are you been here in Arlington now for about nine years or so. Big opening weekend. First post time is what, 3.15? 3.15 today, yeah. Gates open at uh, 2 o'clock today, and if you buy your ticket online and print it out, you get in for free, and you get a free hot dog, and for you get a coupon for a beer or for a pop, so it's a good deal today. But the big party is tomorrow, the Kentucky Derby Day, all of our live races. Uh, we start at 125, and then the Derby runs at about 550. So we'll have 20 to 25,000 people here, and we will sell 2,600 mint juleps. Whoa! And I don't think How many I'm of those running, are you going to have, Howard? Uh, I'll have one at the end of the day. You only have one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, because I don't think I've ever met anybody that likes one, but on Kentucky Derby <laughs> Day, they, they drink them. Howard, you, you shouldn't tell me that. I'm about to have one in about an hour or so. Uh, I like I'm that gonna, one. I'm not going to tell anybody, but you've already had a couple. <laughs> Can't you tell? Yeah, exactly. You know. All right, well, now to some He's questions. Yeah. All right, Howard, you're going to get me out of a job here. As long as you got one for me up in Arlington, I'm fine. Okay, the track conditions. I was asking you earlier, you know, obviously we've had so much rain in the area, but yeah. it's a synthetic track, so it really absorbs it well. Yeah, it does. It has a great drainage system, so we could have five inches of rain today, which we're not going to have, and it doesn't change at all. It is a, uh, you know, a regular dirt track will get muddy, it'll get sloppy. It's supposed to be that way down at Churchill tomorrow, but this track is consistent, so it's great for training. It's very safe on the horses, so it's a great surface. But on the inside of it, where they run the Arlington Million, is a turf course, it's grass. We get too much rain there. We can't run on the turf course. Yeah. All right, the horses, they're out early this morning. That's not just for us. They want, they, This is when their normal uh, wake-up time is start trying yeah, around. Yeah, this is what they do, and this is probably what we should all do. Uh, they, <laughs> they, you know, they get up in the morning early. They feed them a good breakfast, yeah. and they come out and exercise. So uh, they're doing different things out here. Some of them are getting ready to run longer races. Some of them are getting, getting some speed shot into them if they're running shorter races. So this is the routine every day. And I tell you, the people that work back at the back stretch. They're up at four o'clock in the morning every day. The trainers, the exercise riders, uh, the, you know, the grooms, everybody to get these we horses should... ready. There's a lot that goes into it. We've yeah. got about 1,500 horses back there. We'll learn more about that in just a little bit, but we should all be running early this morning. Get a good breakfast in too. But I'm a little taller than Howard here now, and the reason because of that is I've jumped on the horse. Howard, you couldn't give me a real one here? You're trying to make me look like I'm 5'1". Yeah. Right? So that's well, yeah. the thing. Yeah, exactly. So You really want to ride a real horse. Yes. Well, the track doesn't doesn't have enough insurance. <laughs> the station doesn't have enough insurance. You okay. don't have enough insurance. All right. All you right. Don't, you don't know how hard it is. I'm not sure you can stay on this one. <laughs> 
All right, well, okay. we'll find out if I can stay on this after the break. But well, I am on a horse right now. Well, how, what am I on? It's not quite <laughs> obviously not a real horse. Well, but. Let's, can you say the name? Excessor. No. Equisizer. <laughs> it's an equisizer. Like right. equine is a horse. Okay. All and right. And it's not a toy. This is what jockey use, jockeys use to warm up and to practice. So it actually simula oh. simulates what's being on. I no. was grabbing those no. straps. Okay. This is what tightens the saddle. Okay. This is a little right. saddle. These are the reins. This is what the jockeys hold. Right. So early in a race, they'll have a pretty good hold on it because they want to save some for the end. Right. Otherwise, the then horse is just going to waste all its energy. They, they will. So then they'll loosen it up a little bit when it's time to go. And then they start. Uh, they start. They'll cross them a little bit. Yeah. They'll do something to encourage the horse. And then they're up there on the neck, and they're really working like this. Right. Now you're riding like a cowboy. Well, that's... you got to be laying down here like this. Okay. And you're not in the stirrups either. Okay. So I got to so get in these things. Uh, you, you'll do. <laughs> Something. You'll tear an AC out. There's no question about it. You you got no shot. I think I'm a little bigger than a normal jockey, right? This is this You're can't be right, than a right? Normal human. I mean, yeah. this is unbelievable. Okay. Um, All right. Well, this, form, this is hard. Your so form, it's really hard. So they're 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 not on their knees. Uh, this okay. isn't how you do it. All right. And you know what it shows you? It shows you how hard of a job yes, a jockey I... has. It's dangerous. They have to be fit. Their legs have to be in tremendous shape. They have to have upper body strength. There we go. You know, they only weigh about 110 pounds. So I'm about like that. double so that. They are, okay. They are really, really strong. Could I be so a I jockey? Mean, uh, uh, based on my training so far, what are you thinking? If you lost 110 pounds, <laughs> uh, probably not. All right. Even still. <laughs> not this. Uh, All right, no, so I'm in the takes, stirrups. It takes a lot. There we go. How am I doing? But, but you're too high. You're okay. They're way down low if you if you <sighs> see them when they're when Tell they're you what, Howard. They're, laying, no. they're, they're, they're almost, you they're almost laying parallel with the horse. They're telling me I got to Wrap. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ride it like a lady. How about this? Like back in the old turn of the century. Here we go. Watch out. That's, right. not, that's not PC, you know. More, more yeah, than Arlington in a bit. A big weekend, a big table full of food here. Chef, you prepared a, quite a feast for Howard and I. Howard, you think we can, we can get all this stuff done or what? I'm we hungry. we got about two minutes to eat this all. All right, Chef Jay, let's start with the Impossible Burgers. Talk us through that. We've got a huge boost in the media about the Impossible Burger. Their, their, uh, their need is uh, greater than their, their supply right now, so they're increasing their demand, but it's everywhere. Uh, we, we had it last year. We're bringing it back this year, hoping that we have a good turnout. And this looks really healthy and fresh and yummy with the sun shining. Look at that thing. What is this? Yeah, this is a sweet tea poached watermelon salad with uh, ricotta salada, fresh mint, and some citrus. Uh, super light, super friendly, um, really great. So you're using the mint for more than just the jewel up there? Absolutely, yeah. All right, what do you got? What the heck is going on here? So we're bringing back some crowd favorites. We've got Cowboy Grill that's really good at, at barbecue. These are just uh, sort of St. Louis ribs with coleslaw. That's awesome. And also you got little packs thing. This is nice if you're, you don't want to like sit down on a table, you want to bring it on out here, you got a little stuff to go, right? Absolutely. We have a new cashless uh, touch screen section so you can go in, order the food, and then have a, at a kiosk and have it prepared for you. So you don't miss a race? Not at all. All right. That's really great. I'm going to eat all this sort of stuff. Howard, opening weekend, you got to be excited. Uh, hey, can I ask the chef a question yeah. for you real yeah, quick? Yeah, go ahead, Howard. Yeah. How do you prepare food for 25,000 people tomorrow, <laughs> and how long does it take? Right. What's oh, this man. week been like? Yeah. So we, we actually start planning a day like today, months in advance, starting the menus, um, uh, preparing the food, uh, doing test runs on it, and then we start clearing fields of food just to get the, the product in. That's the great stuff. That's great stuff. Howard, since you know you want to ask the questions too, how about you toss back to Morning Mix in the studio? Hey, back to Morning Mix. We've had a great time out here. First race today, 315, Kentucky Derby tomorrow. Live races before that, so come out out. It's a beautiful place, and the sun's shining. It's unbelievable. Love that.